Come on, everybody. We will sing and shout. We will sing and shout. Open up our hearts and pour your praises out. We will sing and shout. We will sing and shout. Open up our hearts and pour your praises out. Shout! Hey everybody, I'm Miss Jan. I want to welcome you to Bethel's Junior Worship at Home. The story I have for you today is a little different than the stories we have been doing because today's story is a story. It's a story that Jesus himself told. We find that story in the New Testament in the book of Luke in chapter 10. And anything that has to do with Jesus is going to come from the New Testament because that's what makes the New Testament new. Jesus has come to be with us on earth. So let's put on our very best listening ears so we can listen and learn. One day, a man came to Jesus and asked him which law of God's was the most important. And so Jesus said, first of all, love God. And secondly, love people. Well, the man wanted to know a little bit more, so he said, well, exactly which people do I need to love? And so Jesus told him this story. Now, our story takes place in a desert. I see a lot of sand. And this is a very lonely place. This is a place in the desert where no one lives, there are no homes, no schools, no hospitals, nothing. But there is a road, a very dangerous road. The road is dangerous because there is no one there to help watch travelers who might be going down this road. Now, at this end of the road, we find the city of Jerusalem. And at the other end of the road, we find the city of Jericho. Now, someone who wanted to go from Jerusalem to Jericho or from Jericho to Jerusalem as quickly as possible might take this lonely road. But that would be a dangerous thing to do. You see, there are robbers and thieves who like to hide beside the road so that they can steal things from the travelers as they come by. And it looks like today we've got a couple of robbers hiding beside the road. It looks like somebody is coming. Uh-oh, he's alone. He's coming down the road. Do you think he's afraid? He comes down the road, walking along. Suddenly, the robbers jump out. They beat him up. They take everything that he has, and they run away, leaving him lying, broken and bleeding, beside the road. Poor man, I wonder what's going to happen to him. Do you think he's going to be okay? Well, before long, a man comes down the road. It's a priest from the temple in Jerusalem. Surely this man of God will help the hurting man. But when the priest sees the man, he knows that if he touches a bleeding man, he will be unclean. He won't be able to lead worship for weeks. No, says the priest. This man surely knew how dangerous this road is. Maybe the priest will pray for him, but he's not going to take care of him. In fact, the priest crosses all the way to the other side of the road and walks on by. After a while, another man came along. Now this man also works at the temple in Jerusalem. It is his job to make sure all the rules of the temple are followed. When he sees the hurt man, he knows that if he touches a bleeding man, he will be unclean and he wants no part of that. And so he too crosses to the other side of the road and just walks on by. The poor hurt man lay there for hours in the hot sun. I feel so bad for him, don't you? And at long last, we hear some more footsteps. Another man is coming, and he has a donkey. But, oh, it's a Samaritan. People from Jerusalem 
do not like Samaritans. Samaritans live in another country. They worship God in a different way. People of Jerusalem want nothing to do with Samaritans. There's no way he's going to stop and help. But when the Samaritan sees the hurt man, oh, he can see that he needs help very badly. And so he rips a piece off of his cloak and he bandages up the man's wound. So let's go ahead and put a bandage on our hurt man. Okay. Tie that on. He gives him something to drink from his own canteen and that he lifts the man onto his donkey and takes him all the way to Jericho. When he gets to Jericho, he takes the man to the very first inn he finds and he pays for a room for the man. He even gives the innkeeper extra money to take care of the man until he is well again. Now that is what Jesus meant by loving and helping people. If we love God, then we will also love people. The priest didn't understand that. The temple worker didn't understand that, but the Samaritan did. If we love God, we will love people. We will help people, all people, in any way that we can. When we lend a hand, it shows them that we love God and we love them. Let's pray together. Dear God, we love you, so help us to love people, all people. Help us to help any way we can so that we can show your love to others. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, guys. Let's do our closing rhyme. Are you ready? The wind tells me, the birds tell me, the Bible tells me too, how much our Father loves us all, and now I'm telling you. You have a great day, and I'll see you next time with another totally true story from God's Word, the Bible. So long.